I'd like to share with you a story, a story that made a big impact on my life when a, a storyteller came to school and told the children about a king, a king who everyone loved and everyone enjoyed being in his kingdom because he cared for the elderly, for the sick, he made sure that orphans and the hospitals were well run and one particular boy really, really loved the king too because he had been made an orphan and the king cared for him and made sure he had somewhere to live. But one day, the king came out onto the steps of the palace and the trumpeters were there. Dun, 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 dun. My dear people, he said as they gathered around, I am getting old now and I need someone else to take my place, to be the king in my stead. But I need someone who will continue to build the kingdom just as I did. So he, he looked beside him and he had a big sack full of seeds. He said, if anyone would like to step forward and take a handful of seeds, take them away and in the next six weeks come back and see what you've been able to grow with these seeds. Now the young boy that loved the king was in the audience. His heart began to beat and he slowly stepped up to the palace steps. His eyes touched the eyes of the king and he put his hand into the sack, took out some seeds and ran all the way home to tell his foster parents all about the king and his dream to have someone to take over his place. So the boy started straight away planting the seeds. He made sure it was in the best part of the garden. But days went by and then a week went by and this boy had a gift. He had green fingers but still nothing was growing from the seeds. So he thought, I know what I'll do. I'll get some new compost, plant them in the big pot, put them into the greenhouse and see if that will work. But the boy day after day watched for the seeds and the little sprouts to grow but nothing came. His heart was sinking because he knew the time was going by. And then in the distance he heard the trumpeters. Dun, 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 dun. The king was coming out onto the steps of the palace to see what people had done. The boy was really saddened because he really wanted to thank the king for all that he'd done for him. So the boy in sadness picked up the pot, put his cloak over the top and walked towards the palace. But on his way he saw other people arriving with beautiful flowers, putting down gorgeous vegetables that they'd grown, even beautiful plants. And the king sat pondering as he saw people approach. And then the boy, broken hearted, thought, I can't bear this. So he started to turn away and the king shouted, Stop! Bring that boy! Bring him here now! And so the boy came forward, tears in his eyes, and he said, But sire, he said, I haven't been able to grow anything, there's nothing in the pot. And the king's face beamed with a smile. He stood up and he sat the boy on the throne. There was a gasp in the audience. The king took the crown from his head and put it onto the boy's head. The boy's heart what's going on? And the king said, now I have found the boy who I can trust. The boy with integrity, because now, he said, I can tell you all that before I gave away these seeds, I boiled them in hot water so that nothing could grow from these seeds. All of you sadly have cheated, but this boy, now I know I can trust him with my kingdom boy's tears running down but with joy. He couldn't believe the king had chosen him and he was so proud and many days went by where the king trained the boy to be the king in his stead and all the people in the kingdom were delighted with this story. And so we can learn from this too that as these days of Pentecost roll on and Jesus is looking for us in his spirit to go out and spread the good news can you rely on us to be those people of integrity and truth that will spread the good news? Amen.